Hey guys, welcome to lesson number five. Now it's time to create the final objects that will be here standing on the base. You can see that I created a lot of abstract objects which actually are nothing logical, they're just abstract things. So we're going to create that and they are very simple to create. Just take a tube and let's go to our top view and change the size of this tube the idea would be to have a big one, a middle one and a, a small one so let's change the outer radius and the inner radius should be bigger Let's round this to 25 and 43. Let's see how this looks. Alright, let's take this up, increase the height. like this is fine, let's change the inner radius to 18 and this can be 42 so we have this shape and now just create a duplicate make it a bit smaller and another duplicate and make it lower alright let's see how this works alright let's try to separate them just a little bit just like this and now what we're going to do is to create a rectangle as rectangle spline and we're going to create a tube with this um, a bar change the width until these two are inside of the tube just like this alright increase a little bit the width you can use also the top view if you want alright now click on rounding make it of course smaller and something around here on this point should work alright now let's repeat the same thing that we did here for the pool handles let's create a capsule let's create a spline wrap and take the spline wrap into the capsule select this rectangle as the spline change the axis to Y and now play around with the radius of the capsule and add in some more segments and then rotating this whole object like this probably should be wider until it fits the tube just like that let's see how this looks alright take the rectangle and play around with the radius just a little bit let's increase this to 75 radius just like that alright now 
we can group everything here and let's call these tubes and we are actually going to need these to be smaller so on the coordinates let's change this to 0 0.7 alright and place it here because we're going to need this space to create some other random objects for example I'm going to create a cylinder place it here and of course I'm going to lower the radius and I'm going to play around with these tubes place them over here make this one very tall create a duplicate on this side and make this smaller another duplicate smaller and one final duplicate and smaller alright now take all of these move in a little bit to the right let's see how they look alright this is very cool we can group this and call these cylinders now go to your splines and select one that is called sisoid and this sisoid place it here where the building in front of the building like this make this smaller okay and we're going to repeat the same process create a capsule create a spline wrap and select the seesaw as the spline on y, y axis and change the radius of the capsule also add some more height segments and you will have this. Now this should be smaller let's turn on our camera could be like this alright so we have the shapes now the final touch is to create some platonic here I'm going to create one platonic and this of course will be super random decrease the radius doesn't have to be exact, you just have to, to create some objects and place them make sure they are touching the floor alright now create another one maybe smaller this one and place it here now on this part I'm going to create a few more platonics this way create a platonic make it smaller like 15 alright now create a duplicate make it smaller like 10 or even less like 8 and one final copy and make it like three very very small alright and now take this 
last three that you created duplicate them and place them here around the pool like this maybe this should be smaller this one could be 12 this one could be 6 and this one we can set it li leave it on and 3 all right now just grab all the platonics create a group and call this platonics of course for this one you can group this and call this statue or sculpture instead and that's it we have all of our objects now we just need to add a sun and some clouds but we are going to do that on the next lesson so let's go